Hey guys, what's up, it's Mac Rauch, and today we're going to have a look at how to airplay mirror your iPad, iPhone or iPod Touch into your MacBook Pro, iMac or whatever you guys have. So basically I have an iPad 3 so I'm going to be using the name iPad 3 and I'm going to skip the iPhone and iPod Touch. I don't know if you guys get what I mean. So yeah, the first option would actually be iDemo which is actually a, not a good option in my opinion. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I say it's iDemo because actually iDemo is also there. But you know, I don't really recommend you guys using that one. So so the next option is display recorder. Now you need a jailbreak to actually use display recorder and it's basically like a screen flow inside your iPad. All right, You just click on the um, record button then you do everything you have to do and then you click on stop recording and then you have the video on your iPad and then you can pass it on to your computer which is a MacBook Pro in my case. But I don't have a jailbreak so I can show you guys the application. I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned the application's name. All right, in case you guys have a jailbreak and you you want to have a look at it, all right? So the last and final option I want to show you guys today is reflection, all right? Which is actually the best option in my opinion. This is only supported to uh, iPhone and iPad. So if you guys use an iPod Touch, you actually might want to think about um, jailbreaking and getting the display recorder app, which is actually a great app, but you know, I don't like having a jailbreak on my iPad because you know, I don't really trust that. So yeah, let's go ahead and have a look at it. As you can see, I have it already open, but nothing happened. So what you want to do, which is, I'm gonna show you later, all right? Let me quickly set it up on my iPad so you guys can see the screen, all right? And it should pop up right now. There we go, guys, it's there. I'm gonna quickly hide my dock, which is actually uh, pretty cool to actually see better. All right, so what you have to do to actually activate, um, you know, reflection on your um, iPad so that you enable mirroring is actually double tap on the, double click actually on the home button and slide over to the uh, right and this, sort of television uh, window will pop up and you will see iPad, uh, well it depends on what you have connected on your iPad, all right, iPad and Carlos Casimiro's lanes, that's my MacBook Pro and yeah, you wanna select that because it will be on iPad, so you wanna select your MacBook Pro or iMac and then click on mirroring on, all right, so uh, yeah, and once you have that guys, as you can see, we have a uh, full, you, we can see the screen perfectly and you know, it, it might lag, it depends on your Wi-Fi connection, internet connection, because if you really have a slow connection, it might actually lag a lot. But if you wanna record uh, gameplay or anything like that, guys, this is a great way. All right, so moving on, guys, we're actually going to check out some of the uh, features of this application. So we have the preferences right here, all right? Um, you can optimize for any device, which is actually one, uh, 1,280 times uh, 720. All right, then high res iPad, which I, I used I used to have it on that one, but you know I just thought I would put it on any device. All right, Retina iPhone and a standard iPhone, so I'll leave it on any device. Then you can also change the AirPlay name, which will pop up on your iPad. I just left it with my Mac's name. All right, you can also put a password to actually connect to reflection on your MacBook Pro. Uh, you can always uh, make it always launch at full screen. All right, and also. Uh, if you actually notice, let me actually quickly show you guys this. Um, if you put into full screen, all right, it will actually have an image right there and also your iPad, all right? So basically you have an image and your iPad. So what you're gonna do is go to device and actually um, select if you wanna have a solid color as a background or your uh, background, all right? So I chose my background, as you can see, this is my background, but you can just see the, uh, you can't see the circle because my iPad is lying in front of it. So yeah, let's hit over to device and let's have a look at this last features. All right, so always on top guys, you should know what that is. Show frame is basically the white part or black part of the iPad, which you can also change. Let me quickly show you guys that, which is pretty cool. All right, I have a uh, white iPad, so I leave it on white, but you can change the frame skin, uh, skin to actually black if you hit over here. All right, that's pretty cool in my opinion. So um, yeah, but I wanna leave that on white, all right? Um, moving on guys, we have um, scale. You can stretch to fit actual size, which is pretty big, so I don't really suggest you guys doing that. Or half size, which is pretty small. So I would leave it on stretch uh, to fit. Um, automatic orientation, force landscape. Landscape is basically if you lie your iPad like that on the screen right now, or portrait, which is basically when you lie your iPad like this. All right, so um, 
yeah that was pretty much it so basically that was the end of the video guys i hope you enjoyed my three options or three applications more like it to actually airplay mirror your ipad iphone or ipod touch to your macbook pro imac or whatever you guys have so if you like the application guys tell me in the comments and i'll try to actually make a giveaway on this app but only if you comment down below don't forget to like the video if you actually liked it i would really appreciate that don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and i guess i'll catch you guys in the next time